Hey, right, John here. I'm just going to talk to the value. I'm very really upset. That's what's happening out there. Okay, In the world okay. of heavy haulage, Mark and Carl are competitors. Oh, but for this epic challenge, oh, the two are joining forces. Problems are going to be the width of the height it is, the width of the, the base and the, the top. Time to get this monster shed on the road. Ten minutes after you spoke to a bit. Let's go. Well, it's getting out the gate. It's stage one. The show's about to start. You all right, Carl? In the hottest seat of the convoy, Lee Morgan. Lee Morgan. Yeah, no, I ran out of credit, um, battery. My phone ran out. I've got three phones yeah, going now, oh. ready to put, hook the bank up. I'm putting the, the bank on the power. Yeah, no, I've got better reception on, on the three phones now with, uh, uh, with uh, Spark. So they've, they've fixed all my three phones. I'm putting the, the Moai King, uh, uh, the power notes on soon. Yeah, so, so once I get Cook Street, I'll be taking Cook Street uh, at, before the end of the month. Uh, uh, and as soon as I get out of the pound, that's going to kick in and a trillion pounds on the bank underneath the land on that bank, the Angel Bank, with John Key in. But I'm just saying, uh, buddy, I mean, uh, we're, we're, I'm just going to follow where my head goes, just to so, so that it, it will either make sense or it won't make sense. Uh, with what I'm doing. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah, I know, yeah, I want to see where it goes uh, and that will satisfy my, my long, long term with, uh, with what I've been doing. So far it looks alright, it hasn't gone wrong and I, I can't afford to make a mistake in front of the world because so far uh, nothing's happened to me. Uh, although I know I'm, I, I could be get executed any time now because of what I'm playing with. I'm playing, I'm playing with uh, 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 the Freemasons, all those sort of things, but I'm, 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 I'm just going to see where it goes, so don't be surprised if I'm, I disappear. And that's what I'm, I'm a little afraid of, but uh, uh, I'm just going to keep going. It, it seems to yeah, well, I think uh, people would have shut me down or said something. I'm, I'm, I'm getting no comments that are bad about anything. And I'm getting more more uh, uh, response from Britain and, and America, people that can see, uh, that it affects them too. The native title affects them. So it's not just here uh, that I'm appealing to, because it's where the flag went that I'm trying to follow where it went. And we can't tell that until I just assume it went everywhere, uh, where, the, where the Queen took it, see, because she's affected here, but she's also used it to go everywhere else. And that's what I'm making the British accountable for. It. Yeah, that's, yeah, I read that, um, um, and, and that's just part of the tentacles of the Queen. She's, she's... Yeah, but that... And you know who that money belongs to? Here! It belongs to you! And that's what I'm going after, because unless you go and prove that it belongs to you, they won't do anything. And it means, it, it means having this and that and everything of, of their, their name on it. And, and, and I'm, I'm just sticking us to their name on their documents. Because if we don't do that, then they say you've got no claim. Now, this goes beyond these shores here. It's gone where that flag's been used without our knowledge. And it's all... Yeah, well, you... Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, so you've you're updated something that I've already done over the 20 years that I've been, it's all online, but on, on 106 Facebook sites, I've got it strung all the way back with all the legal documents I put together. I've spent all my years putting legal documents together for that effect that the native title that I've done was what 
Well, he's money call Tommy, but he's the crook. He, him and Rogan, is, well, nobody saw that, but I, I pulled it out that he stole the real money cars from Waikato. And that's what it is, that's what it is, that's what I'm saying. That, that they switched it, you know what they did in Tuuriaho? They put Tiro Waikato as a woman of Mahanga, the, the, the wives of Mahanga uh, um, was uh, uh, Tiro Waikato and this other, other woman, two wives. And I've got that all out on Facebook, I'm showing everybody where the switch was. And although, I, although all these years I've been with Mohi Monaco for a long time, I really thought he was the real one. But George Connolly told me, you're, you're going with the wrong phone number. It's down here in Huntley. And it's been down there all along. But I, I knew there was something. Because Mohi didn't go to Mangatauteri. He always went straight down to Ratana. Now I'll tell you something. The Ratana church is, was a native uh, Maori church and not a Pakia church, but Rogan used it with the Manukau and split the name in two, Manukau name in two, and that title of Pukekohe, they used that, all that uh, from Cleve then over to Afitu, they used that for the 1862 Native Land Act that Ratna uh, and the Manukau and uh, Use that, that's why the government goes down to Ratna because Rogan did all this, this crew stuff in the Kaipara and Hokianga and then bugger off before he was going to get killed by Napoli and shot down to Ratna and hid over there. You see? So, so that's what all that Ratna church is about. Why I'm going to try and get to, to defuse it. I'm going to get to defuse that and that title down in, in Pukitoi that they used that. Manukau down there to, to make a new Manukau with a fodgy whakapapa. So all the whakapapa of Ngāti Kahu, Ngāti Te Rōroa, Te Uriaho, Te Tau, all those are wrong. I've been right over them. I've, I've went over all their treaty claims in Mohi. Now I've just gone over all their treaty claims again and they're going to come to a screaming halt at Taheke, because the Taheke Marae is where Ratna, uh, one of the Marais that he used with that native title, the 1862 native title, on those documents that Morris has got. I said, hey, these are all... Yeah, he, well, he went there too, but the thing was... Yeah, so... so yeah, now I'm saying that the Hori, Hori, te, te, uh, Hori Tekuri, his name is on this document with the, the survey P, the first name on that uh, 1862 Native Land Act in that Native Court, in that Marae. That's why I'm going there to go and spill the beans. And, yeah, I'm going to smash the whole lot. Because that's what's been holding me up all these years, is that hidden. Yeah. Yes, sir. Is he a, is he a female or a male? Well, these guys in theory have it's got female. They they on their document on these legal documents on the fucker papa it's got Tira Waikato woman. Yeah, so Waikato, Waikato was a refereva, they changed it to Rewa up in Rafi. I, I filmed it all with Mohi Mo Mesa. I filmed all of his whakapapa that was put under the theory uh, 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 with Graham Letterman and Sir Hugh Carfro and all that. Now, Nina Glovis is running that record. You see, I've got all that history here. I've got, I'm looking at it and I'm going over it. Holy bloody hell. That the, the, the Native Land Act of New Zealand uh, was put together with the, with the Ratna Church. That's why the government goes to Ratna down there where Rogan was. Rogan married the Manukau in Kaipara and they made that 
that real Mary Monica down in uh, Mangatotomy into a pocket. And then that's what that's that they would made the money out of that. I'm going after I'm going after the money they made. All the money that's ever made in this country and the world has come out of that title. You see, that, that's why I'm going. I'm going after the bank that that created those documents. And no, no, no. Yeah, but they had their own. They, they didn't have this contract. No one had this contract in the 1920s. It was this Monica for a Tira Waikato. I've got all the contracts here from 1820 with King George IV. It was way before King William IV was the brother, took those titles and transferred them to Rev. Rev. Monica. That way, that way they screwed those names up and, and turned them into Pakia titles to make money out of everybody. So I'm, I'm going like this. All the money ever made from the Native Land Court in the world comes from this Native Land Court Act. In the whole country, in the whole world, where the flag went, and so I'm, I'm, I'm grabbing that native title, the thing that made the money, the documents, not the fucker papa, the documents. You see, I'm a document contract man in real estate. Unless you are a broker, a bank broker, and got all that, you have no right to the money. You might, you can have the land, but not the fair money they made. Forger, it's all fraud, but. They've got the money stacked up and no one's going to get it unless they've got these documents. With those survey pig marks on that, Moi Manika was a surveyor with uh, John Rogan, his, his grandfather. That's why Ngāpui hated him. Yeah, Kingi knows all about it. Because I was with Kingi all the way through, 20 years, on this thing. And Kingi knows, he, he, he hated me standing beside Moi and Titi Mara. I've been with this all the way through the years. And I, 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 I suspected there was something wrong when, when uh, George Connolly, uh, he sat down in Huntley, said to me, John, don't listen to Mohi, he's got the wrong father. Yeah, if I would have listened to him, it would have been a different story. But I wouldn't have got the money. You see? Um, that's why no one can touch me with that pound note. Because it's a Waikato pound note, a Waikato chief, and that's the end of that. That's who the British picked. They picked that Waikato chief, and that's where all the money, the gold and everything. It's not anywhere. The one you fellas got is Queen Victoria Trust. You have to go after her money in her trust. But the king made her. And so she don't belong to this. It was made from this native court act and the admiralty. You see? So I'm going after the money, not the fucking I'm going after, I'm going after who? Forged the title, and who made who made the switch? You see, I, I, that, that, that that's all I do. Uh, I, um, I have to stay in the commercial world, not not in the spiritual world. I have to stay there and go and rake it out of them, and even if I get shot, that's why I say, don't be surprised if I get a bullet in my head because that's what Moi was going to get a sore bullet. That's why he, he wouldn't tell anybody because. He said, as soon as he told me, I told the whole world. So they're all going to get a bullet in here. Not only me, see? Yeah, well, I've disclosed it, and it can't be, it can't be taken to court, because everybody knows. I'm banking on that to, to win the case on Cook Street, so I can just whip the bloody thing, and, and, and stick this fraud uh, switch uh, uh, on them. But that's a big, that's a big thing to take on by myself. By, by, by myself, but the Rogans married my wine or family down the East Coast, and that's why the, all the titles to this country comes from Gisborne, the native court. Uh, eh? He's a surveyor, yeah, 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 he's a surveyor, but he was a judge too in the court in Hillsville. That's the old old bank magistrate court. That's why I put those magistrate courts to link them all together to go after the money, and 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 and, and that's why that's. Why, yeah, yeah, well, that, the Maori was created by these thugs. I'm calling them thugs online. I've got to watch them now because they'll cut me right off if I start swearing about them. And the Queen, the queen has been caught now. They're, they're getting caught left, right and centre. So I put the bills in on the power note before they, uh, before they demolish everything. <laughs> and when no one gets anything, so now everybody knows I've got a power note on all their heads before they run away. They're going to try and skip it too, because 
as like the government just had their first meeting, you know what? They left the Governor General out from opening the new parliament. See, see? They can't use it because the new Governor General has no seal of the Queen and no seal. She's not there. And there's no seal of the, the Westminster. I've already told them that to the judge in the court in Auckland uh, District Court. They're in the shit. And they still open the parliament. With, they said, oh, the, the, the Governor General cannot be here today. So who steps in? Sean Elias takes over. See? She, she, it, it's all scum ugly. I, I, I just went on Facebook and told them. This is, this is what you fellas are doing again and again. And, and they've got no authority, no jurisdiction, no nothing. And they still get to run the country because no one can stop them uh, unless I go and stop them myself with this. You see, the, 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 the seal, that's why I made that, that seal to stop them with those two chiefs. Those two chiefs are, are paramount in, uh, in, the, in, in the, the authority of this country. Is that seal I made? Because I, 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 I handle all this plan so that no one's going to buck when I go and take Cook Street. Yeah, but that's all. But me, uh, you first carry on. But I'll, I'll just, I'll just do what uh, my intuition says uh, be, before my heart goes to bed. <laughs> I have to watch my heart. Yeah. So, so I'll, I'll just, yeah, I'll just keep going. But the truth will come out, buddy. The truth will come out, and it, and you'll still end up with what you're doing because someone has to look after this country. I'm going to England to go and sort that lot out, like how I said. I'll just look after the bank, uh, buddy. Um, you have to look after the the land because there's only one of me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But that's right. I have to go along with that as well and take a few knocks, but. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Thanks. Okay, all right then. Uh, <coughs> my nerves are wrecking, man. My nerves are wrecking, but he's he's suddenly got it. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm a bit, a bit uh, hurt uh, over them going down the way and leaving me on my own. But that's when Morris uh, Baker stepped up and rescued me and took me in his house, which is a Ratna church. I slept in a Ratna church. Uh, I'm not a Ratna. Um, I'm not none of those. I'm a Moai and I'm a peaceful person, really. Moais don't spill blood or fight or, or do any of those things. And the, no, neither does the Moriori. They don't do those rough things. They don't go around stealing things. And so, why should anybody do that to us? Uh, uh, and, and with money, it wouldn't hurt a bit. Uh, so, it's, it's really coming to a head. Um, <coughs> I knew these things long ago. I set them up for a reason. I, I, I can see where the problems are. And I'm saying, I'm commercial. Uh, and that's all there is. No one has a right to any claim for any money that's been made fraudulent. It has to come from the creditor. And unless you've got all the documents that the British put together to make all the people in the world on the land they are, the King's Bench Court, not the Queen's Bench Court. And if you're talking in the Queen's Bench Court side, I'm afraid it's a third party. to a two-party contract between Te Rā Waikato, Whare Hele Hele Manukau and King George IV, 1820 to 1830 period of a private contract. This flag came later out of that contract at 1830 to King William IV and Refa Refa the descendant bloodline of Moriori Te Rā Waikato, Whare Hele Hele Manukau. Now, put things on Facebook to expose the tempered contract. It's so, defaulted. The, the whole title is defaulted. And I'm saying relax. the Parliament of New Zealand opened up with no Governor General present. The open it's Parliament as it should be. The They've just it's assumed the that she said this, he the said that, three bags full. Be. And then the Sean Elias did her government. thing again. She's a fraudster. Flat out fraudster because she's saying, assuming that the Queen is there to give her consent when she's not. You are thugs. 
because she's in the EU Parliament as a, contract, a, a conflict of interest in contracts in different countries, and she's a private company. Now that's that's really breaking international law and the laws of Britain, UK, and our own Moai Crown King William IV law in this book that I've got. The Magistrate Court. The Native Magistrate Court. And I'm saying to Bundy, because I'm surprised, I'm, I'm really disappointed that he has turned against me and gone his own way without respect for all the years I've put together in researching all of this. And uh, I've been with the Confederation all these years, for 20 years or so, with all those two pointers that have died. Uh, and I've got all their information here. That gives me the President case over anybody who hasn't got any documents to support what they say. It's a commercial flag, this flag, Bundy. It's a bank trading commercial flag for making money. It's not for waving around for a fuckamania group of people that don't know what it means. I'm using it in its proper sense for what it's meant to be. I have a right to use that flag for these chiefs, paramount. Paramount chiefs are commercial land owners. You might be the fuckamania with fuckapapa and all that. That's nothing to do with this. If there's nothing to if you want to go <coughs> and get money off with the married government of Queen Victoria or Queen Elizabeth, <coughs> they don't owe you anything because you have no contract with them. You only got treaty and that's the end of that. It's cut off at 1840 and you can't go back because it's too late to try and do that. Because I'm telling you, the king and the Moriori has the overriding title to the whole world where this native Pukekoe land was used as a president case in the Native Land Act 1862. That's after the treaty was signed. So everything after the treaty was signed on 1840 came into this original Pukekoe land that was sold by Ready for Ready money go to Rogan on the receipt on that book in the front. I put it there for everybody to see, but they're not looking. They're not looking. They don't understand it because it's none of their business. It's none of anybody's business. It's only my business as an executor of the Moi, Mo, Moriori Marigal Trust. There. Money is a direct descendant of that Moriori trust. His name says it. Parapara Mohi. Manaka. Those three names are old as a hill. And it's nobody's business because it's a two-party contract with King George IV and then King William IV took that contract for Refa Refa Manaka. Waikaro was over this land from right through, the Manukau was right through, before anybody stepped foot on him. The British wrote the title, and that's all it was. They'll take this land, if I say so, they'll take it. Because that's what they did to Napu up in Kororareka. They took it. They took all the French titles out of the South Island, they wiped them out. And they are about to wipe them all out again, under this direction. So the Whakaminiha, I'm afraid, they've got no legal documents because I know legal documents back to front. <coughs> I'll only go on legal titles of British, not New South Wales titles. The Maori government goes under New South Wales titles. They're demolished because they're third party. Anybody touching those, using those, under Maori name, is a third party. So you're going to work, learn that it's not me pulling the shots, it's the Scots and the British. 
that are pulling the shots, not me. I'm doing their side of the contract and pulling it back to all the countries in the world where they went with that title, the Pukekohe land title, as the Native Land Act of New Zealand. If anybody can show me something that they've got titles of some sort, then I won't look at them because they'll have to have survey seized of D numbers lower than 89 and number 90. Very rare for anybody to have those numbers. <coughs> Nothing to do with the Manukau family. Nothing to do with anybody. <coughs> That's what I'm saying to Bundy. The right Manukau family in Mangatotu, Pa, Site and Cambridge. That's where the money is. Of Referefa Manukau and Sister Tenawaka from Whareheli in Manukau. He controlled this whole country as far as the British are concerned. He sold this whole country to King George IV through Captain or uh, Lieutenant William Simons in the Edinburgh Magistrate Court. <coughs> so Bugby, you, although you sworn your proclamations, they are only dated just recent. I've sworn proclamations right back, right through the years. I've proclaimed everything on that Marae and Te Unawaka Marae and the other Marae, Hawaii Marae up the road in Epsom because I was doing real estate there. That's where I was learning titles. I was selling real estate in Epsom and Rimura and the city. Okay, that's why I know all these titles because I went to school to learn. I went there just to learn, not to make money, to learn how they do it. <coughs> oh, the camera's still going. I look like that. So you see, I know what I'm talking about. I'm just rather upset. I'm upset. My nerves rattle when there's something wrong. Andy, you fellas have to carry on doing what you're doing, but you can't have any money. You can't have any of this money because you're you're going to get your own from Queen Victoria Trust, and that's that's King William money. But your Queen, you have to go and sort that out. But King William IV, you 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 can't go into that contract because you haven't got any contract. I've got the contract here for King William IV. <coughs> Stuck back to Refinef Manukau, stuck back to Te Rawaikato, Wharehere in Manukau. No one can claim that. Only the Moriori, not the Cook Island. The Moriori is not the Cook Island. Because they're in my family down the East Coast. The Parapara are in my family at the East Coast. They're up, up in the Kaiparas. They're down in the South Island, with, always with the Manukau. Those two names are together. You see? Because I know. And the Wano is down, down Ratana. The Wano is down the East Coast. Oh, with the Manukau's. Down, down there, the Romans married the Wanoos and the Manukau's. That's why they live at Ratna. You see, it's all political and all commercial. If you're not commercial, you can't enter this contract. That's the end of it. <coughs> the money talks. The money talks. And you'll have to go through what you're going through because you've committed yourself and cut yourself off from me. In that native court in, in, in uh, Titi Marai, and you said the, ma the mana is there, yeah, the mana is there, but the commerce and the bank is in Tahiti, mate. You, you have to stay in Titi now because I have to do what I have to do because of my intuition and my experience in land titles, mortgages, banks, commercial trading, business as self employed. And <coughs> British. British. Okay? British. Always British. Now, you have to have all those to put the pieces together. What you have there is a proclamation. It's a piece of paper. And then you've got... What else? You've got fucker papa. What else? That's, that's what you've got. You've got a proclamation. Fucker papa. <coughs> And if you use any of the fucker problems from Julie Ho mixed from there, it's all wrong. 
I'm telling you, go to court in the High Court in London and lose. Because the government lost here against me in the District Court in Auckland and they won't try that trick on me anymore. Bundy, I'm pulling your shots right through the world on this Manukau title. That's the end of it. It's only a commercial title. The land is another matter. What's what stuck to it? And if you want to get anybody off it, you'll have to shoot the whole of them. Because that's what he needs. He only interested in gun, muskets and shooting people, not the farmers. He didn't sign no document or contract. He couldn't be bothered. He wasn't bothered about it. He just wanted to go and conquer the land and shoot every, everybody and including the Moriori, shoot them all out. That's what Moi said. Ongi Hika and all of them shot all his... He showed me all the graves, Bundy. He showed me all the graves where they've been shot up by your people up there. I've got the memories of it. I'm carrying that man's memories because he was very sorry that the Pakia side of him took over the real Manukau. But he was sworn by the Freemasons not to say anything. If I didn't tell you this, you wouldn't know. They'll still come and take the place over. That's why Te Waikato signed the document to sell this country commercially because his name stood on the papers. And the government here was running it on his behalf. By the British let this government run it and it's their responsibility to seize the land and everything missing. It's their responsibility because they let the government here run it because the Maori government had no idea of running a government or this running a pound note. Okay, that's why they had no business experience. Who's got a business experience? Who has been in self-employed as long as I have? In your whakamania. How many people have been self-employed like me in engineering and all of that for years? And take this on at the same time. <coughs> That's what I've been in, I mean. <coughs> I've been self-employed. I know how business runs and I'm running about the biggest energy project in the world here with this bound note. And who's going to stop me? It'll be the people in Britain that are going to save me because they're going to get their cut out of it too. You see, I'm going to stick in contract with the devil you know and the devil you don't. Where whoever you go with, to fund you, you're, you're going to have to go somewhere to get your funding because right now, every statement I make on video, online, the British are watching because it's their call, not mine. I'm just the bank. I told you, I'm only interested in the bank. The Moai Powerhouse Bank and the Moai King William IV Trust that's running this country right now. No matter what anybody says, it's going to end up in court. And that's where the buck stops, in the court. You go to the World Court, or the ICJ Court, or the, the uh, uh, <coughs> United Nations, you'll end up in front of Westminster, right in front of me. Because I'm going straight in there. I have a right to go straight in there with this title. I'm dealing with British title. Nothing out. Nothing less of a king. That's why I make this statement on this video. <coughs> because my nerves were rattling just as well as the video was on because it wasn't looking good when Bundy rang me up. Because he'd been reading what's going on. <coughs> I've been with this right along. I've seen the, the threats of this and that. You know, I've got the figure 970 million trillion trillion pound. No, not out of thin air. I've got it because I've worked that out from OPPT and the figure that the Queen owns 17 trillion worth of land. That's just the land. Anything else that's added to it because she's got this money thing and that's all they are. The monarchs make money. And if, unless you're a monarch, the, the, the Whakaminia has no means of making money because it's not in their psyche. Your, your psyche is not to make money, it's to barter or trade. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. It's 
chips and So this is how it stands. This is how it is. The government opened Parliament without the seal of the Queen, without the seal of the Westminster Parliament, without the jurisdiction of authority from the Queen or the Parliament of Westminster. They just opened it up, assuming that, oh, without the Governor General being there, present, to open up the Parliament, the lower house. No governor general because she won't turn up because she'll create treason if she turned up because she swears an oath to the queen. She won't go there because there's no queen there. And that Sean Elias has done it again. I warned her before. Don't open parliament unless you've got a seat. And she's done it again. She's, she needs to be hung for treason against us the Paramount Chiefs. There's only two Paramount Chiefs. Manahi and myself. That's it. He's the Moriori and I'm the executor of the Moriori Manukau Trust. trying to get this done so I can get across to her. Anyway, <coughs> Parliament was opened up without a Governor General because she wouldn't want to be in there. It's fraudulent, it's corrupted and it's doing it again. I had this on video before, I'm putting it on video now. Sean Elias, I'm citing you. I'm citing you for purporting and pretending to be the Queen of authority in this country as a sovereign when you're not. You're not in a position to dupe the people into thinking you're legitimate. You're not legitimate. You're illegitimate parliament. The whole lot of you are liable. I'm liable in you and the whole justice system in this country is corrupted. John Key corrupted and took off. That's why. Judith Collins corrupted by digging those logs up. That's another. <coughs> now, you, Sean Elias, the third time you've done this and I've recorded you all the way through and you've ignored me and my letters. So now it's a default contract, a trillion pounds on your head, plus every day from now, is another trillion on your head and all of your politicians a trillion on your head plus on top of the trillion that's already on your head from all this time you've ignored me 
the same with Cook Street, they've got a trillion on the head, and the same with those landowners of the Clausens of the motel at Lotton Point. They took off. I'm going after you. I'm coming after you, fellas. And you're going to lose everything you've got. The whole bloody lot of you. Down there. In Portikiru or Kiwaipu area. When I take that land over, you're gone. You've had that land over my own family and kicked us off. Now my turn is to kick you off. Your trust will be dissolved. I'm going to dissolve your trust myself as sheriff. Okay? I'm saying that because no one's going to stop me. Because the British are ordering to seize this whole country and Cook Street because of this fraud of Monica. Tira Waikato Wharaere Monica has been defrauded of the title in the Kaitara, Tiria Ho, has used Tira Waikato as a woman when it's a paramount chief in Mangatotali, Cambridge. That's one fraud. The other fraud is this government is running without authority, without seals, without any sovereignty <coughs> from Britain. Now, they swore their oath. I've, I've got it. I'm, 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 going to, I'm going to look at it again. Not to the Queen. They didn't swear their oath to the Queen. They swore to Parliament. Right? That's what I heard. They swore their oath to Parliament because they swear to themselves with no authority. I'm telling you the truth in what I say because I'm watching them. I am a native land commissioner under this native magistrate court from Aoroa in heaven. Okay, now Tahiki. Tahiki doesn't matter. The Auckland province is all the way to the east coast and up to North Cape. Those titles come out of this Native Magistrate Court. <coughs> Bundy, I'm afraid the Native Magistrate Court is not used for your purpose. This has nothing to do with your purpose. The Native Magistrate Court belongs to Britain. And only Britain. They're the only ones that got Magistrate Courts, not the Whakaminia. The Whakaminia has no political connections because it's still trying to get an upper house going. It's got the right to have an upper house, but we've got a federal state government running right now, dual to Britain. Now, this flag is a federal state government, and no one in your fucking minute can do that. You can't do that because you've already told me your fucking minute is going that way. <coughs> you've driven it that way. See? So this flag, you shouldn't be flying this flag because it's nothing to do with the Whakaminia in that sense. It's only for British trade connection and you will never get in there with your Whakaminia because it hasn't got the title to the land. It can't go and pick them up from anything I've got online. You can't touch them. No one's... <clears throat> to touch or tamper with any of those documents because they're Freemasons ones, they'll come after you and assassinate you. That's what they do for anybody who gets in the road of their documents. Those are their documents. But they're still subject to Westminster Magistrate Court. The Edinburgh Magistrate Court is still subject to Westminster Magistrate Court and <coughs> Westminster Parliament. <coughs> the Queen does not have authority to nominate the next King. It certainly looks like I'm in that position as a contractor to the King to make my submissions into Westminster. Who's going to be the King? Because I'm acting surrogate King with all these documents and all these contracts. We're the contractors, the Moriori. Okay? Nobody else. You can see quite clearly underneath the Cook Island and he's gone that way and I'm going the other way to Taheke, Marae, he's written it off, you heard, and he's gone the other way into Titi Marae where there's nothing at all but an upper house.
he has to use his own initiative, he's, he's quite welcome to it, because I think he's a commissioner of lands, he has to do something in that <coughs> my wife, and as long as you've got a Maori government, this government here has control over what you do, because that word belongs to them. If you know what I mean, it's commercial. So, you guys got a thing or two to learn about that language. You start writing that language, you're really committed yourself into it, because you're gone with Georgie Job. And Georgie, you can't go into this Manukau title because it goes to 1820 and there's nothing to do with you. You can say that you want to go to 1834, but this contract goes back to 1820. The Moriori contract. You can't go into that Moriori contract. You can stay where you are, but it won't be effective. Because that 1834 belongs to the Manukau, the first Tera Waikato Wharehere in Manukau. And he's a Moriori. He's not a Cook Islander. <coughs> I've got all that here. It's Whakapapa. It's right here. And it's nothing to do with anyone. Your name's not on here. Your name's not on here with the Rogans, the Wanos, and the Maikas. Okay? This is our title to this whole country and to the world. Got it? I've been in this game too long and not made a seat yet. And I'm just about to do something about it. By myself so far. I've got me and my wife. That's it. It's God's memorial. Truth deeds. And I've got four kings. King William III, King George III, King George IV, King William IV, and King Ennis Augustus I. Four kings. And then one more, King Ernest Augustus V, the reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and New Zealand Pacific Islands, and the New World Order. This is the New World Order I'm talking about. Nobody saw that. You're not supposed to know this. None of you are supposed to know this. I'm not supposed to tell anybody. But I can't help it. I can't help telling anybody the truth about what I say because I don't keep secrets. I'm not a Freemason. I don't ever want to be a Freemason. I want a straight, simple life as a simple man with a simple wife. And that's what I've got. That's all. <coughs> so, I'm saying this. The Whakamininga has no experience in British matters as far as kings go and commerce with all these documents. I put all these books together, several books, there's many books I've put together over the years. These ones, I've, I've done them exactly the same as what I'm doing with that one. I made them native court, magistrate court, that you signed Bundy. But you sign for the Moriori <coughs> and your chief, Hongihika, I'm saying Hongihika had nothing to do with the contract. He only had the guns. So you've got authority of guns. That's all. Not the money, the guns. So you have to figure out how you're going to make money. Because I've left all of that to the Scotties and my managers there. And they're taken over, and Cecile Hoots and her British husband to take over my companies here and my websites. Because I tell you what, they won't let anybody get away with anything. I'll just sit there and they'll tell me a thing or two about how they run the business. I've got enough just looking after myself and my wife and my family, my new family. That's about it. As long as I make enough living to have somewhere to go and live. Since I can't get on my own land blocks, I'm going to live in Philippines. 
I'm going to ask President Rodriguez to Turkey if I can have an acre or two. Please give me an acre or two and live over there. There. If you don't want me, I'll go there because that's what's happened. Nobody wants me. You all want this land for yourself. I can't even get on 25 land blocks down the East Coast because the trustees, the Maoris own it. The trustees, I'm going to boot the whole fucking lot of you out. You hear what I say? Because you've held me up all these damn years, 69 years. <coughs> I can't get on my land. And even my brothers booted me off. You see, I, I, I don't like to live down there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack from the sea. I'm going to put the big turbines in the sea. And you'll have to pay for the field because I'm commercial. I just want to go and make it work, show them how to do it, then get the bloody hell out and leave them to it. <coughs> right? Now it's my turn to start pushing the buttons of power. Right? From the comforts of home. <coughs> so, I'm just saying to you, people, watching these videos I put together, these are cited fact evidence of my own competing witness. My own competing witness. Bundy, I've just met Bundy, just in the last year. I've never seen him in the Marais before. I've seen Hiroini now and again, but he was looking after his own people. And I've, I've been with Machitaro, I've been with Hare I've got I've got their titles here. They gave them to me, right? They told me, here, join us. And Mapiria, Mapiria wanted me to, to run the incorporations, but no, I, I didn't want anything to do with the Queen right back then, because Moi said, no, nah, don't listen to anybody. <coughs> He's not telling anybody that secret of how he switched the titles with his uncle. Right? I, I can say that now. I can, I can say that now. I suspected it, but I, I can say it now, because I've gone right over it again and again. And this time I've gone over all the treaty claims. I've got all the big books here behind this couch. I've got to take them out and put them out and go over them again. But in there, they are all there. Right? And so I'm going to <coughs> put all those in the library. I'm going to take Cook Street, boot those letters, lock them up. And all those other ones that got in my way. I'll keep all the ones there to, to get around to your face because they failed to put the Manukau's name on the title and there's Pukie Koei sold to a Pākehā. Mm -hmm. British. And these thugs switched that in the New South Wales and New Zealand government. And I'm afraid Alfred Mitchell and Georgie Job, you're both in that side with Mohi Manukau in the floor. You see him and I hijacked you. No, he hijacked himself. And you, fellas. See, because I'm down in Mongatotori, where I've been writing about for a long time. You fellas can't touch that. You, you can't go there. There was nothing to do with Tainui, because Tainui slipped their waka into the Manukau Harbour. Why didn't you put Tainui Harbour, not Manukau Harbour, you see? The Moriori's got here first. <coughs> And you fellas switched the titles too. To Ivy, Tamaki, and um, um, Kawab. Switched the titles. And the Minihek in it, uh, out in Afiti, took the Manika, stole the Manika, um, did away, um, referee for Manika, Marai, stole it, locked them up on Kawa Island. Kawa locked, locked them up on his Kawa Island, that chief.